Over the years, I've seen so many leaf blowers come across my bench with catastrophic internal engine failures because of what I'm about to show you. Now, it doesn't matter if you, it's a handheld blower, a backpack blower, doesn't matter if it's a steel, a Husqvarna, an Echo, a Ryobi, they're all the same. Blower tubes, why is this blower tube so important to how your engine runs on one of these things? Well, I'm gonna show you right now. Hey everybody, welcome back to Steve Small Engine Saloon again. Thanks for tuning in. Hey, there's my website right there, stevesmallenginesaloon.com. Got a quick link up here for you in the information button too. Check my website out when you get a chance. I think you're gonna like it. So here's the situation right here. Customer brings in a leaf blower and says, well, it's it's seized now. I can't even pull the rope anymore. It's stuck. And I look down at the end of the tube. This is the point right here. It's tapered down. I have seen it all. I have seen PVC uh, fittings put on here. I have seen electrical tape wrapped around it with a slit cut in the end of the electrical tape. I've seen all kinds of devices that people have put on the end of the blower tube to make that hole smaller. Why are they doing that? Why are you guys doing that? To increase the air speed that comes out. You ever put your finger over the, your thumb over the end of a garden hose to shoot the garden hose further? It's the same concept. Yes, you are going to get more speed of the air coming out of the tube if you restrict that hole down a little bit. But what else are you doing? You are also restricting the CFM. Cubic feet per minute, the volume of air that's coming out there is now not as much CFM, but it's higher pressure, higher speed coming out of there. You know what else you're doing? You're revving that engine up past its limits. You can blow your engine apart doing that. So this is what I've done. I've taken some duct tape to close that hole off about, about halfway. It's restricting that. This one, the original one, wide open. We're gonna go outside right now. We're gonna try both of these with my handy dandy little tack right here, digital tack, and we're gonna see what happens to the RPM for both of those. Let's go, let's do this. Already got it warmed up. We're using the original tube unrestricted right now. That was 7,300 RPM right on the nose. That's the way it should run. Now we're gonna put the restricted pipe on. Nine thousand and twenty RPM. That is way too fast for this thing to run. If you run your blower like that a lot, like just doing it for a few seconds out there, it's not going to really do anything. I was willing to sacrifice my blower to do this video. But if you run it like that, it's running so fast, you can possibly get what is called an over an overspeed seizure. It's not the piston in the cylinder in the top we're talking about, it's the bottom end. The crankshaft bearings in one of these are designed to run at a certain speed. If they all of a sudden are turning at a higher speed, they can literally blow apart. Like I've seen this many, many times. The bearings themselves will blow apart or there's these little metal cages that hold the balls in there. 
little thin, little tin things, and they'll blow apart first, seizing your engine right up. Yes, by restricting that tube right there, you are going to get more speed out of it, but you're losing the CFM anyway. So in my opinion, there's absolutely no point to doing that anyways. I know some people think it's working better. I don't agree with that. I don't think it's working any better at all. As a matter of fact, you're gonna have a good chance of actually destroying your engine if you do that. So my advice to you, use the tube that comes with your blower and don't modify it at all. I hope I helped some of you guys out with this. Give me that thumbs up button if you could. That would be really cool. Subscribe to my channel. Comments. Guys, put some comments down here. Right in the comment section underneath this video. Tell me what you think about this. I know there's probably going to be some of you say that, well, I've been doing that for years and I've never had a problem. Well, if that's true, you're very lucky. In general, don't do that. Hey, you want to watch something else right now? There's another video right there. Check that one out. I think you'll like that one too. Till the next time, Old Milwaukee, Steve out.